it's all done. Everything is packaged and ready to drop off. The cassette should kick in when it's here, but then it's off. I don't get it. Hello and welcome back to my office. If you're a regular here, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Nick and I'm a reseller. I sell stuff. Here you can see the stuff in my office. It's Monday and um, I've got involved with another listing challenge, which means uh, myself and a bunch of friends are going to try and list as much stuff on eBay for this week as we can. And we're going to compare numbers and see who lists the most, basically. Um, I wanted to quickly show you this. My listed stock is at its lowest for years. If you look in here, normally, if you've seen picking videos and those sort, these are just rammed with stock, um, but it's looking sparse. I'll just change the view and show you what I've got left. So as you can see, it is pretty bare. Uh, we've got some media left. Uh, it's just the dregs, really. We sold so much media over Christmas. It was great. Um, these are just my little clear perspex stands for doing photos. Um, handful of books left the the dregs of all of those fantasy books that's all we've got left a few bits of vinyl um, these have just gone on uh, Andrea listed some cookery books these didn't sell over Christmas which surprised me um, Harry Potter bath fizzers so I've reduced them to hopefully shift those the last little bundle of Terry Pratchett a vase a handful of odds and sods in there a little bit of plush um, some books down here and a pair of shoes that is it really oh apart from the remains of the massive car parts hall just a few little bits and bobs and in my office the only other listed stuff is here and that's more car parts and that is it really so listed stock is at an all-time low which in one way is a good thing because it means we've sold loads and loads of stuff and we did have a good christmas selling period but it's now new year and it's time to really push and try and clear this backlog once and for all but before we get onto listing, uh, I'm going to share some of the stuff that has sold. What have we sold? We have sold this vintage um, sleeping bag, 80s or 90s, not sure. Um, <laughs> as both. Not on eBay though, right? No, on Etsy. Etsy. Yeah. And how much did that go for? Uh, no, I for 25. Nice. <laughs> Where did we get that? Um, from a boot sale. Cool. We sold, I've got it on screen, um, vintage 1960s JAJ Pyrex set of, set of five uh, teacups and saucers. Uh, can't show you because the saucers now look like that. They are individually double wrapped in cardboard. The little cups are individually packaged and then they are going to be floated within this great big cardboard box. Um, to keep them safe so that's those those went on offer we are we are sending out lots of offers we are in January sales mode at the minute um, they went on offer at 15 pounds with 650 postage to cover the courier um, so 2150 all in I'm just gonna set you up on a tripod like that Hang on, you're all a bit wonky. That's better. Okay, so a few other bits that have sold. Um, these, let me get them on screen so I can tell you how much they sold for. Have sold for seven pounds. These are two little Barrett's football cards from the 60s maybe. Not sure the date on these. Uh, yeah, clearing out the last few trading cards we've got, I, I marked a load of it down 
and those sold straight away when I marked them down. So that was good. Um, car parts, I showed you what's left of the car parts. Uh, if you're new to the channel, um, we bought at auction almost the entire contents of a Hyundai service garage. Uh, it was tens of thousands of parts. What I showed you is all we've got left. It's the dregs of it. And I've been marking things down to get them moving. We sold a bunch of bulbs. So these, which have very little value really. And I, I marked them right down to move them to eight pounds free shipping. So once the shipping and fees come off that, there's not a great deal in it, but I just want it gone, right? So they've gone. Um, and just been listing cookbooks. Oh, I just bashed myself in the side of the head with her. Andrea has been listing cookbooks and this Radiant Recipes book by Hannah Stilto has gone. Uh, Eight pounds plus shipping, so 11.50 all in. Um, let me show you a few more bits. Oh, car parts, this was a good one. Now these, I don't really know much about car parts really. These are suspension rear trailing arms. Um, yeah, no idea. Um, <laughs> there's a pair and they sold for 50. Um, I had two pairs of these originally. I sold the other pair ages ago. Um, for considerably more but they, they have sat on there forever I marked them down in this bid to clear stuff to 50 and they got picked off so I'm glad they have gone so that's good and then more car parts we had loads and loads of little mud guard sets um, oh Andrew's back oh you packaged it <laughs> here's the sleeping bag all packaged, ready to go. Cheers. Okay, cool. Um, oh, that one's not open. So yeah, these little mud guard sets, they're just bits of plastic, like that. Um, when we started, we had so many of these sets. And the last few that were on, I marked down in the sale to £10 a set and we cleared two more sets, which is fine. I think I've got one set of mud guards left, which is amazing. Uh, what else should I share? Some media. Let's do a couple of bits of media. Depeche Mode, um, you may be aware, I'm a collector of Depeche Mode and I I buy job lots of stuff and keep what I need for my collection and I sell the rest on. Uh, this is a good example of that. So this is a triple CD set of In Your Room single from 1994. Uh, that's gone out at £20. And some of the vinyl, or one of the uh, vinyl LPs has gone. This is Eric Clapton, a best of. Uh, didn't get much on this. It went for 10. 10 free shipping. So after shipping, which will be about £3. Um, not a great deal, in it? But the vinyl, uh, that whole collection of vinyl owes us nothing. Um, we were in profit on the back of selling off all of the Genesis albums from that job lot. So everything else is a bonus now. So there we go. One more quick order. Wouldn't be a uh, picking orders video on this channel if it didn't involve these things. Um, we've had an order in of three cubes. So both versions of the 2x2, so there you can see the difference. This is the square edge and this is what they call the pillow version or curved edge one. So both of the 2x2s and the same customer has bought um, a 4x4. Four four. Again, this is one of the curved edge ones. Um, didn't get a message with it, so I don't know if it is a viewer. Um, but yeah, very happy with that. The cubes went really well through Christmas. Uh, we ran a couple of promotions on them. Uh, we did some bundles. 
and we shifted hundreds of them which was great we still have a fair amount of stock in um, and they are ticking along which is good and with the power of editing ta -da, it's all done everything is packaged and ready to drop off so this is a mix of um, some UPS some Hermes and some Royal Mail so I will drop all of this off three different drop-off points in town shouldn't take me long and then when I'm back I can actually start listing <laughs> okay so I've been testing and cleaning some electronics this Samsung laser printer um, we picked up last summer at a jumble trail thing I think we pay five pounds and I'm surprised how much these go for second hand um, I'm gonna be pushing for about a hundred to hundred and thirty for it they have sold at that um, so I shouldn't have any problem so that's good so that's all tested and working fine and then this I picked up this Philips uh, boombox nice vintage item uh, paid two pounds for it um, it is covered in paint splatters which is a bit annoying um, but I'm really confused because I can't figure this thing out so it has an on off switch here so it's currently in the off position there's only two positions off and on so if we switch it to on it's plugged in so that light comes on okay so it's now in the on position which is also radio so if I turn the speakers up like so you can see that the radio is working but the cassette doesn't do anything it doesn't even turn the spindles um, and it actually says tape here where that yellow dot is below off so does that mean when it's in off light goes out the tape player should work that would seem to make sense to me um, but you know oh, pause was on but it doesn't work no matter what configuration so does that mean that the cassette player just is faulty or am I missing something here because the light goes out and the power is now off right so how is it on how's the tape player gonna work when the powers off it might be in daft on light on but that's only for radio I don't know I feel like I'm missing something the only other button is there's a, a selector for the radio for medium wave long wave etc there's mono stereo don't know this CD input is just uh, auxiliary input that's on the back so I'm really confused I'm um, I've only found one that's actually listed and that one is listed as cassette player not working which is the only conclusion I can come to with this that that's just not functioning at all uh, the belt's gone or whatever and it's just not getting power to the to the drive there don't know but this thing is cool um, the speakers can, are detachable on this let me show you what I mean so there you go these speakers um, they slot in and then there's a clip that holds them in place so they are detachable and then you can you plug them in around the back with these wires um, one of which was actually unplugged before so when I was trying to turn the volume up only one was working but they are both working so I think the plan is to get this listed uh, sold as cassette player not functioning unless any of you know what I'm doing wrong <laughs> please let me know it is way way later now and I've completely forgot to keep up with this video um, so I thought I'd better let you know how I got on um, I listed most of what I wanted to get done today um, I might do a couple more before calling it a day um, so the Samsung laser printer is now on and the stereo loads and loads of board game spares um, I spent a good few hours sorting out hundreds of board game spares and putting them on um, I won't talk numbers because that will all be revealed next Monday when we get together again 
and talk about how this week's worth of listing challenge went. But I'm quite happy with today, happy with my numbers, happy with how productive I was. I will try and find an old video up here that maybe you haven't seen, so please check that video out if you haven't watched it before. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.